To breaking news in Washington, where the impeachment trial of President Donald Trump has just come to an end. The U.S. Senate voted to acquit Trump on two articles of impeachment, but Republican Senator Mitt Romney broke ranks and voted with Democrats. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jackson Prosco joins us now with more. Jackson, how significant is Romney's defection? Well, Robin, it's historic. It's the first time in history that a senator has voted to impeach a president of his own party. What this means is that despite Trump's claims that impeachment was a partisan witch hunt by Democrats, there were, in fact, bipartisan calls for his removal from office. Romney is, of course, the current Republican senator for Utah and a former Republican presidential candidate. He was emotional as he announced that decision to vote against the president and says he's well aware that he'll likely face political reprisals from Trump and his supporters. The president is guilty of an appalling abuse of public trust. What he did was not perfect. No, it was a flagrant assault on our electoral rights, our national security, and our fundamental values. Corrupting an election to keep oneself in office is perhaps the most abusive and destructive violation of one's oath of office that I can imagine. Despite Romney voting against party lines and the acquittal of foregone conclusion, this really has little impact on the 2020 campaign, doesn't it, Jackson? Robin, I have to tell you, the partisan split in this country is so deep right now that it's hard to believe that impeachment is going to move the needle either way. In fact, President Trump just recorded his highest approval rating of his presidency, 49 percent, according to a new Gallup poll. And that happened on the eve of this historic impeachment. But Trump also can't escape the fact that he has received bipartisan condemnation for his actions, both toward Ukraine and the Bidens. The fact that Mitt Romney delivered that stunning rebuke today will certainly sting. And it's worth noting that several other Republicans, despite voting to acquit Trump, have expressed discomfort with his actions. But we really have to wait and see if any of that resonates with voters. Robin, Trump says he's going to address his acquittal tomorrow from the White House. Jackson Prosco in Washington.